Hi, my name is Arnav Bhatti and I am a senior consultant in Germany's services team. So what I actually do is I just deploy Red Hat products at customer side. And today we are going to talk about Ansible CodeBot, which in my opinion is a pretty interesting uh, product or a bot which has been introduced recently. So we just have 15 minutes and I'll try to cover the overview. Why do we need a code bot? What's the use? That's an important question. Followed by a quick demo and how you could use the code bot with your own developer's subscription. And then if time permits, we can have a Q&A session. So let's begin. So first of all, Ansible code bot is a part of Ansible Lightspeed. Any uh, one of you who is aware of Ansible Lightspeed of, or have heard of it, perfect. So that's, I would say, an AI offering for Ansible. What it does is it would generate the code uh, or playbooks as per your requirement. So that is an entire ecosystem which Red Hat is building. And Ansible CodeBot comes in the maintenance part. So Lightspeed is built up of where you could create the generation of the playbooks all together. So let's say if you want to write a module which, and you want to replace or copy paste certain file from one point to another, you would just type in the command ansible.builtin and the light speed would write the entire module playbook for you. So it's the generative AI for Ansible. Then comes the adoption part where your content source matching on all the post processing happenings. And at last comes the maintenance part. So what if once the code is ready, how are you going to maintain it? And if I tell you that now you don't need to worry about it because we have a code bot which would automatically check your entire Ansible repository and create pull requests for you to solve the issues. How does that sound? Have you, in, is, okay, just one more question. Is anyone, uh, anyone using Ansible Lint in their perfect? So you see the suggestions of Ansible Lint and what are the next steps? What do you do after that? Someone just goes into the repository, tries to fix the code, creates the entire pull request. What if I tell you that this code bot will do that entire manual stuff on your behalf and give you more time again? So, okay. So that's Ansible Red Hat, uh, Ansible code bot for you guys. It's a code bot specifically made to scan your entire Ansible repositories and suggest uh, all the best practices of Ansible and automatically create a pull request in your GitHub repository. That's what Ansible code bot is gonna do. So over here, I have just, if you look at this particular screen, so this is just a very small playbook which I have created and it just have very basic roles and I've added, you know, there are no proper templating or I've not followed any best practices over here. Now in this particular demo, we would see how Ansible CodeBot is, is gonna suggest or give me some suggestions over here. What's the exact workflow? So what's gonna happen is as soon as, uh, so there are two ways of actually triggering this CodeBot. You could do it in a manual way. Let's say you have your own repository and you want to scan the entire repository. So you could just click on the button that scan my repository. It would create all the scans running and would create a PR on that behalf. And if you want to use a schedule trigger, let's say if you want to just check your repository on a monthly basis or on a weekly basis, so you could schedule a trigger on that uh, part as well. After you create or trigger the scan, Ansible CodeBot runs all of it in the background or on your Git, uh, GitHub repository scans your repositories, and then if there are some issues which are detected, it creates a pull request for you. Let's say if you run again, the, if you trigger again a manual start on your GitHub repository, Ansible CodeBot is smart enough to detect that the scan has already been done and there are no new issues which are found. So it would not create duplicate pull requests for you. It would first identify, okay, there's a pull request which is already existing. First, need, uh, someone needs to remediate that, and only after that, those particular issues would be fixed. Now, if there are new issues, then the code bot would scan and suggest new uh, pull requests for your repository. And if there are no issues uh, detected, it does nothing, it just tells you 
the scan status and everything from the cord bot UI. I'm going to show you all of this very quickly. So this is just a demo. So for example, and for now, Ansible code bot just works for GitHub repository. In the near future, it would be launched or it would be used in GitLab or any other Git repositories. But for now, it's available only on Ansible, uh, uh, only on GitHub. So if you see over here, this is, these are some, this is something which is an example of what all suggestions this code bot is giving. I tried it and tested it on one of my repositories as I shown you earlier. So we're going to look at the dashboard. We're going to look how exactly it's going to work. And it's pretty easy to use. It's not a very complex thing to install. OK, that's a very famous line from Linus Torvalds, and that's my favorite one, that even if it's a talk, we need to see the code, how exactly it's going to work. So I have a demo for you, and I'll play this. Perfect. I can zoom in. So this is how I installed it. For example, that was my uh, GitHub account. I can either select the repository, whatever I want, or I could run it on all my Ansible repositories. After I select my repository, uh, only my Ansible repositories, I just have to click on Install and Authorize. And it would ask for an installation, which we are going to see over here. So over here, I just selected one of the repositories for my testing purposes. It took me to my Red Hat login page. So if you have a Red Hat login, it's free to use. Or you could create a login on developers.redhat.com and give it a try. Once you, uh, once you are through, you would see that in this particular repository, I have done nothing. It's an empty repository. So I'm going to push my code from Visual Studio or from the terminal in this particular repository in a second. And let's, oops. Sorry for this. OK, and now you see I have pushed in my code. This is the code board which I, uh, UI which I was going to talk about. So over here, you would see all the details of the scans, when the scan was triggered, what was the type, what was the pull request which it created. As soon as you click on the pull request, you would see the commits and the files changed over here. So it just had one commit, and number of files which were changed are one. So for now, because it was just a basic test, I just added, it recommended me that as a best practice, you should use uh, true instead of using yes. That's what it suggested. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some more changes in my code and add some new uh, tasks to my main.yaml. So if you see, now I have added configuring Linux and just a role, starting the Nginx, a web server, that's it. And now if I just refresh it, I, would, I've, uh, I have tri already triggered another scan. So it should be OK. And I'm checking my repository. So this is, now it's running the scan over here because I triggered it manually. It takes a few seconds or a few minutes to scan your entire repository. As soon as you click on Refresh, we have another pull request because it detected new changes or new issues in the code which I wrote. As soon as I go over here, you would see this particular change was a previous one, and these are the new changes which it has suggested to me. So it didn't create multiple pull requests. It just added onto it. That's the, I would say, the beauty of using Ansible CodeBot over here. Because earlier, as a developer, you don't want to just you know, follow the instructions made by Ansible Lint, and then go in your GitHub repository, do all the changes as per Ansible Lint, create a PR, and then a developer would again check it, and then again submit it. This is something which is automatic. This is saving a lot of time for you. And I really want to quickly show you. That's the UI of Ansible CodeBot. I have particularly enabled it on all my repositories, if you see over here. So there are multiple repositories. Some of the tests have failed. There are some Ansible challenges. So if I look into in any of the repository, this, this was scanned just once. If I look here, this was scanned four times just because of the demo. And let me open this particular pull request. OK. So this is 
another repository, where if you see the number of changes which it has done on my behalf. This is, uh, these are one of, the, one of the repositories where I had an entire playbook which was not in a very good shape. And the code bot fixed it for me. What else do you need? Someone is doing, a bot is doing your stuff and you could use your mind and free time to develop something new. That's how this particular Ansible code bot really works uh, and that's the beauty of it. So, yep, I think that was a quick demo. If you, uh, if you guys want to start uh, using the Ansible code bot, you could definitely go to my repo, play along with it, create your own developers.redhat.account. account. If you are a Red Hatter, you already have the subscription. If you have an AP subscription, you can give it a try. So just give it a try, use it, and save your time. So that's it from my side, guys. Now let's move ahead to the question and answers. Yes, please. That's still in progress. That's a very good review. Sure. So the question is, can the code bot create certain commit messages or commit comments in the GitHub repository and so that we could see, a developer could see what all changes it's going to do. So for now, that's not happening. Maybe in the near future, the bot would be capable enough to add these commit messages in the uh, in, your, in the commit itself, and, you, and the developer would just read it out. For now, it's just doing the changes and creating a PR on the file itself. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. This particular, okay, so the internal functioning of, so, okay, so the question is where exactly this Ansible lint is taking all these suggestions and applying it? So the answer to the, uh, this is the code bot is internally using Ansible lint. So all the suggestions which are being used in the Ansible lint and some best practices created by Red Hat. So it's combining both of them and then creating a PR on base of that. So if you want to create your own custom uh, standards, I think that should be possible in again future. For now, this is just uh, what it's doing. It's just using the Ansible lint, and that's it. Okay, so we just have two minutes left. One more question. Yes, please. Hey, Parmaya, hmm? so this is very nice if I have a plenty of roles and hmm. plenty of code that is already there. Uh, is there a way, for example, to hook this uh, to a commit hook so we can fix uh, some of the problems that I had before I actually commit them? So okay. And the, okay, so the question is, can Ansible bot be tied up or hooked up to a pre-commit hook? And the answer is, I would say, we still need to know. For now, it's just committing it, but I'm pretty sure that in future releases, that would be in possibility too. Okay. Okay, guys, so just one request. Go ahead, give it a try, and let us know what, all, what you guys think about the code bot. Thank you so much.